poison from my pot. Say, Father, remove poison from my pot. Reika Santara. Je reconnais que tu peux tout et que rien ne t'est impossible. Je reconnais que tu peux
will never leave me He held me by the hand He turned my sorrows into praises He has made me glad
Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Empowerment Sunday to Women of God, Rose Biju Ramirez. I'm so happy to see all of you connected this morning. It is our service on a Sunday evening. Uh, this is your place where you hear the words of encouragement and empowerment. Women of God, this is a ministry called Empowerment Ministry, and I'll urge of you that is connected tonight to share, to comment, to like. God is about to speak to you and to me tonight. I know it's stormy and windy out there, but our God is still in control. And hence the topic of tonight, you've got the power to dominate. You have dominion, amen. Welcome and share this video. This is, um, we are on YouTube and this page, Christianity Daily page. If you could just share and the Lord will surely bless you. If you are connected, please make a comment, write your name so that I will know who is connected with me because I am unable to see unless you comment, unless you write. Uh, Facebook has been very, very uh, weird of late with uh, blocking. And uh, so I cannot see your name unless you comment. I cannot see your name unless you share. So all your likes and comments will be very, very uh, encouraging to someone that is connected tonight. We're just going to pray and invite God in our midst. He is here. He's the Jehovah Shalom, the ever-present God. He is there all the time. He's the Jehovah Shama, the ever-present God. He is always there. Where two or three are gathered, he is amongst them. Tonight he's among us, Miss Nova. Tonight he's among us, Brother Francis, he's among us. Mama Marcelina Ramirez, I would urge of you to just share. Father, we welcome you. Amazing God, we bless you for tonight. Amazing God, we thank you tonight. Amazing God, we welcome you in our midst. Take absolute control and do us good. I know that, Father, you always want to do us good. Your will and your plan is to always do us good. I pray that you will do somebody connected today good. I pray, I pray that you will meet someone connected today at the point of their need reba sataya holy spirit we invite you holy spirit we invite you holy spirit we invite you take absolute control holy spirit we invite you speak to somebody today holy spirit we invite you do a new thing today in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen is there someone connected today is there someone that loves God that is connected today? Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank him for your health. Thank him for your life. You are alive, but for his grace. There's a storm out there for those who are in Europe, but you have been protected to be here tonight. You have been protected to connect tonight. Begin to say thank you to Lord. Begin to say thank you to the Lord God Almighty. He was allowed for you to be here today. Just thank him for your life. Thank him for your children's lives. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his grace. Reba sata riba shataya. That somebody connected want to just give God the glory. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we welcome you tonight. We thank you today. We lift your name above every name. Who is like unto you, eternal hope of glory? Who is like unto you, the one who was and is and needs to come? Rabba Baba Setariba Shataya. Reka Sintariba Yeberebe Sentiri. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we lift your name on high. Is there somebody connected today? Just begin to lift the name of he who deserves it. He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. He deserves the praise. Rabaka Sitariba Shataya. Lord, we bless you today. Lord, we thank you. Look at your children that are gathered tonight in this platform just for your glory. To hear thus says the Lord. To hear thus says the Lord. We welcome you, Lord. Meet us at the point of our need in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, we invite you. The blood of Jesus, the blood that cleanses, the blood that washes, purify our homes, make it a holy ground, make it a place where your word will come down. The Bible declares all have sinned have fallen short of the glory of the Lord. As your blood is cleansing our homes, as your blood is cleansing our minds today, let us not fall short of your glory. May your glory come down tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Is there somebody connected today? Just give God the glory tonight. 
Clap your hands for Jesus where you are. Just begin to give him all the glory. Tell him, Father, you are worthy. Tell him, Father, you are worthy. You deserve the glory. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Abba, Father. You are worthy, eternal hope of glory. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord. Tell him he is worthy. In your life, he is worthy. In your life, he is worthy. In your family, he is worthy. In your home, he is worthy. Reka satariba shataya. Father, we thank Thank you. Tonight we say you deserve the glory. Tonight we say you are worthy. Tonight we say you are worthy. Who is like unto you eternal hope of glory? Tonight we say you are worthy. Rabakasi tariba shataya. Holy Spirit will welcome you. Holy Spirit will welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Is there somebody that is alive that is happy today? Just clap your hands for the Lord and magnify him tonight in Jesus' name. What do you have? What do you have? A lot of people, when asked what do you have, they think of money. When asked what do you have, they think of houses. When asked what do you have, they think of marriage. When asked what do you have, they think of children. They don't realize they've got something because of what they're expecting to have and they don't have it yet physically. And so they don't think they've got something. So today the Lord wants to bring you and my mind into asking ourselves that question. What do you have? For the whole month of February, every Sunday since the 27th of January, we've been talking about what do you have? We shared a lot about the, on the word of the Lord, on the woman of with the issue with, with the woman of the, the the widow who only had a ch two children and whose husband died and left her with so many debts. We shared on that, and uh, when the prophet Elisha asked her what she had, she she said she had nothing. Turns out she actually had something because she had oil and she had a jug. Hallelujah. So today, I don't know what you're answering, but most people when asked what do you have, they look at what they physically possess. They look at what they physically possess and they say, I have nothing. Today, God is saying you've got dominion. Amen. Today, God is saying you've got dominion. I don't know if somebody is connected today to say amen. Today, Maria Kiala, God is saying you've got dominion. Today, Mama Marcelina, God is saying you've got dominion. Today, Brother Francis, God is saying you have dominion. Today, Sister Nova, God is saying you've got dominion. The world may show you that you got nothing, but the Bible is saying that you got dominion. And I'm going to show you that it's connected today. How it is that you got dominion. I thought somebody would say amen. If you are connected, I'm unable to share very well, so I'm encouraging you to really share. Just say, I've got dominion. If you are cooking in your kitchen, just say to yourself, I have dominion. If you are in your bedroom fixing for children to go to school tomorrow, just say, I've got dominion. Wherever you are right now, just say to yourself, I have got dominion. Hallelujah. The world will deceive you so you will not understand that you possess that power, that you actually have dominion. But I'm going to show you in the Bible that you have dominion. Is there somebody connected today? Are you today connected? God bless you if you are connected today. Women of God, uh, Sister Adoratrice. De Dieu, Maman Jean Bilonda, you've got dominion, hallelujah. Just begin to say, I've got dominion in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what my situation dictates. It doesn't matter what my position says. It doesn't matter what uh, my financial situation is saying to me right now. I have dominion. I have dominion. You have dominion. You've got to believe it. When you believe something, it becomes real. When you think something, it becomes real. When you declare something, it becomes real. Somebody connected, just say, I have dominion. I have dominion. Brother Jen Lee Dixon, you got dominion. It doesn't matter what the storms are doing outside. It doesn't matter what your, your health situation is declaring. Just say to yourself, I have dominion. Hallelujah. Is there someone connected today? Let's look at some definitions. I like to look at definitions. I really like to explain things with a definition. What does it mean to have dominion? 
dominion according to um the collins dictionary it says to have control or authority over so do you see that god gave you authority do you see that god gave you dominion to have dominion is to have power is to have authority it's of the power to rule it's of the power to govern it's of the power to order things hallelujah it's to have the power to declare and it is you are heard it's to have a voice that is understood that is obeyed hallelujah to rule over so when you got dominion that means you have the power that means you have a say so when you are asked what do you have you cannot say i don't have anything because you have the power to call into existence that which does not exist and it will come to pass my goodness do you see that you got something do you see that you have something i don't know if somebody's connected today you are watching us i want to see your amens i want to see your heart and your light you, you like tonight it will encourage somebody somebody just say i have dominion so people who don't understand they've got dominion like the woman who did not understand that she possessed something because physically she looked at herself she maybe did not have the home the houses she had when her husband was alive she did not have the money in her bank account anymore so to her it seemed like she had nothing it seemed like she was you know powerless it seemed like she had no possessions but god is reminding you and me today we have dominion that means you got something so i'm going to take us in the beginning genesis chapter one where everything started amen i'm going to take us to the bible genesis chapter one verse 26 to 28 the bible says and god said the creator of the universe, the creator of this earth, yours and my creator, the one who fearfully and wonderfully made us, the one who has the earth and the fullness thereof in his power. He said, let us make men in our image. When the Bible talks about men, it means men and women. Hallelujah. When the Bible talks about men, it means females it means males it means children it means young people it means older people so the bible says god said let us make men in our image and our likeness and let them have dominion somebody say amen oh my goodness i don't know if you can see me I don't know if you can hear me because I don't know if you can see or hear me, but I want to see your amens. That will be great. He says, let us make men in our image likeness and let them have dominion over. Let them have power over. Let them have authority over. Let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth hmm. so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created he created he him male and female so you see what i meant when god talks about uh man it means male and female male and female he created them and god blessed them and god said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue my goodness i'm picking up words here rule over have dominion over and subdue is another powerful word here um subdue over hallelujah the fowl of the air the fish in the sea and every living creature that uh, moves upon the earth hallelujah and god said verse 29 i have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth 
and every tree in the, which the fruit uh, um, of tree yielding seed to you it shall be meat reba sataya over every beast and god saw that everything he had made was good i just wanted to remind us that from the beginning god gave us the authority he said to rule over and to subdue so when people ask you what do you have you have dominion what do you have you have the power now look at this somebody who's been given control to manage the world the earth and the fullness thereof to manage the money to manage the animals to manage the the, the herbs to manage everything that creeps in the earth yet this person is worried about lacking this person is worried about having money this person is worried about being healed this person goes to seek for support from someone whom god created to <laughs> you see the problem with us as human beings we forget genesis we forget the beginning we forget that we've got something. We forget that God made us. We forget that God filled us. We forget that God created us with already capacities and abilities. We forget that we are not to beg for power. We are not to beg for healing. We are not to beg for joy. We are not to beg for all these things because they are already in our possession. When God created us, he filled us with all these abilities. He filled us with all these things. He filled us with all these capabilities. He filled us with all these ingredients already. The Bible says, he said, let's create men. That means it was God the Father, the Lord Jesus, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit creating men. So you were not alone already when you were being created. You had supporters, you had help, you had power, you had the anointing pre-existing already. So when you were born, when you were created, when you were made, the anointing was already there. The power was already there. The, the, the ingredients you need to survive in the world was already there. What you need when you start walking was already there. What you need when you get married was already there. What you need when you start having children was already there. Everything that you need to have was already there. Because God the Father was there. God the Son was there. God the Holy Spirit was there. And the Bible says, let us make men in our image the image of god is that god is the jehovah el shaddai the all-sufficient god he does not short anything he does not lack anything he does not need anything so if you are made in the image of god that means you already possess the ability to do and to be that means you already have the power to dominate that means the serpents will not have authority over you because you have authority over them but what happens with mankind we forget Genesis. Eve thought she had to listen to the serpent to give her wisdom, to give her knowledge, to open her understanding. When she was already made in the image of God, that means she already possessed knowledge. That means she already possessed power. That means she already possessed understanding. But the thing about human beings, we forget Genesis. We forget that God already made us with ready existing power. We forget that God already made us with ready existing knowledge. We forget. And so we start looking in that, at our surrounding. We start waiting for a serpent to whisper certain knowledge. We start whispering for a certain brother or sister to tell us what we already have. My brother Jenny, Mama Marcelino, Mama Nova. Imagine somebody who was created in the image of God then worries about having children. Go to the witch doctor to give them children. You see, the witch doctor doesn't have anything to give you because you already have everything that they need to give you. Imagine a beautiful woman who does not realize she's beautiful. She goes to the mirror for the mirror to tell her she's beautiful. She goes to the mirror for the mirror to explain the image that she's already got because she does not believe in herself. She will go to the mirror for her reflection to reflect on the mirror for the mirror to tell her what she already is.
for the mirror to tell her what she already possesses, for the mirror to tell her what she already has. That is what happens with us as human beings. We have the power, but we are waiting for the mirror to mirror our reflection and tell us what we already have. See, the mirror doesn't make you beautiful. You were beautiful before you stood in front of the mirror. You already had those eyes before you stood in front of the mirror. You already had those ears before you stood in front of the mirror. The mirror is a reflection of what you already possess. It is not adding anything to you. It is not removing anything to you. It reflects what you already have. But what do we do we go to the mirror 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 on the wall tell me i'm beautiful mirror mirror on the wall tell me i am strong mirror mirror on the wall tell me my eyes are beautiful tell me i am good looking tell me i am handsome see the mirror is not adding anything to what you already have it's a reflection of what you already have. It's a reflection of what God already gave you in the Garden of Eden when he already created you, when he made you in his image and likeness. See, we go to wizards to tell us that we've got the anointing, that we've got the power, and the wizard will only tell you what you already have. <laughs> so you come out of the wizard's house believing it's the wizard, it's the witch doctor that has made you powerful, but, but you actually went in the wizard's home in the witch doctor's home already powerful because according to genesis chapter 1 verse 26 mama marcelina god already made you in his image and likeness god is the all-powerful god is the el shaddai the most sufficient god he is enough in his own he shows nothing he lacks nothing so when you go to the wizard asking for power he's laughing at you because he's not going to give you something you don't have you already possess what you are searching for in genesis chapter 1 dr king in genesis chapter 1 <laughs> verse 27 it says god created man in his own image male and female and watch this. In verse 28, he told them to be fruitful and multiply and have dominion over. Oh my God. He told them to have dominion over everything. So you are going to the witch doctor, to the wizards, to the magicians to be given something you've already got. God already gave you the power. God already gave you dominion. And if you go all the way down in verse, uh, 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 it, 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 so still in verse 28, he says, he gave you the power to rule over. And then he told, the Bible tells us that the Lord God gave us the power to subdue. Verse 29, he gave us the power to subdue. You've got the power to rule over, to control, to govern, to, to, to order things around, and to subdue. When you subdue something, that means it's under your power. It's under your authority. What you say goes. What you say goes. Yet we walk around powerlessly thinking we got nothing. So when you are asked, what do you have? People say, I got nothing. Because people want to have a big mansion before you will believe you got something. People want to have a big house before they believe they got something. People want to have a massive car before they believe they've got something. When you've got something that creates what people have physically, you got the power. With power, you can declare things. With power, you can go to university and have knowledge to study and get a very great job. With power, you will know how to tell the serpent that I'm not listening to your lies. I'm not listening to your cunning lies. I know that God made me in his image. I'm a little God already. You Satan, you serpent, you got nothing to add to what I already possess. I already have what you want to tell me. I don't need anybody to tell me I got power. I have the power. I don't need the serpent to tell me that I got dominion. You know, I'm going to have more knowledge when I eat of the fruit. Because God already gave me dominion to rule even over that serpent that is telling me cunning lies. But the thing about human beings is, we, when we are asked, what do you have? We say, I have nothing. 
we forget we've got the power, Sister Carvina. We forgot I got that anointing. I can order things. I can declare things and they will be established. I can say things and they will happen. I can tell if my manager is troubling me at work, I can go down on my knees and pray my, my manager out of that job. You got that power. You got power more than the wizards, more than the witch doctors. Yes. You can pray your manager out of the job if they are troubling you, if they are causing you trouble, if you are, they are not giving you peace. You can order them out of your heart. Didn't God say, I will give men in your place? Didn't God, didn't God say, I will replace? <laughs> God will give up men for you. So if you've got a manager that is troubling you because of the power that you possess, because you can rule and subdue, you can make things happen what do you have somebody say i got dominion somebody say i got dominion somebody say i got dominion we walk around powerlessly because we forget genesis it was from the beginning that God already gave us the power. It was from the beginning when we were made in his image and likeness. It was from the beginning when God made us little gods. It was from the beginning when God gave us authority to rule over the animals, the herbs. Even all the trees, they are under your authority. You've been given the power to subdue, to control them. They are under your feet and under your authority. Before Luke 10, 19, you already had that power. But God had to come and remind mankind in Luke 10, 19. He says, I have given you the authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing shall harm you. We walk around afraid. We walk around so afraid to make decisions. We walk around sometimes afraid to eat because the world has got the pandemic, because the world has got issues. If I dare say this, I'm going to die. If I dare eat this, I'm going to die. If I dare do this, I'm going to die. We forget that we possess the power in us. It was already given from Genesis chapter 1, 26 to 29. We were given that. And then in Luke 10, 19, God comes and reminds us because we don't have to allow the cunning lies of the enemy to tell us we are powerless, to tell us we cannot make it, to tell us we are powerless, to tell us we don't have hope, to tell us, see, we are going to people to tell us we got hope. I gave an illustration of a mirror in the beginning. You are beautiful. You are handsome. But you stand in front of the mirror every day to wait for the mirror to tell you how pretty you are. The mirror is not adding anything to your glow. It's not adding. If you put your lipstick in the wrong way, the mirror will show exactly how you put it. If you put too much, you know, powder on your skin, the mirror will show you exactly how you did it. The mirror is not making your eyes any bigger. Even if it's uh, those that lies to you, those, the mirrors that, that are magnified, it's magnifying what you already possess. It doesn't add anything to you. That means when you go to the world asking for power, looking for power, they are only using what you've already got. The enemy only uses what you already know and it amplifies it and it makes you believe that they are giving you something new. And so today, I want to encourage somebody that you already have the power. You already have the power. So in Luke 10, 19, the Lord Jesus the Lord God wants us to remind us that we don't need to be seeking for power from the world. We don't need to be seeking for power from the enemy. We possess the power over those diseases. See, scorpions and snakes are problems we will encounter over the world. So you can rise above every situation because you've got the power to subdue. What do you have? You have dominion over that disease. You've got dominion over that problem, that health problem. You've got dominion over that financial situation. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Didn't the Bible say the earth and the fullness thereof belongs to God? So when God says you've got dominion, 
you go to the Bible and you say to yourself, I have dominion. I have the power to rule and subdue because the Lord says in Psalms 24 verse 1, the earth and the fullness thereof is God's. God is my father. I am his child. I was made in his image and likeness. I possess the power. So if the earth and the fullness thereof is mine, that means healing is mine. I possess the power over the earth, the herbs of the earth. That means healing is mine. That means every medication that the doctor will give me has already been created by God. So it will heal me because i've got power over that that means if money is short the silver and gold belongs to my god because the earth and the fullness thereof is my god so i will not i was not made to be poor i was not made to suffer so i'm gonna call on to money into my business i'm gonna call on to money into my bank account i'm gonna call on to money and replace poverty with money i'm gonna call into employment and re re replace employing unemployment with employment because i possess the power of my father anything that is in this world belongs to my my father therefore it belongs to me period but we forget when we forget what we possess our shortcomings rule over us our shortcomings become our masters our shortcomings become our fathers our shortcomings become what we have we forget to declare because we are focusing on what we do not have and so today god says what do you have and it's giving you the answer you've got dominion you've got the power you've got the authority look into your life look into your home is there something troubling you look into your family life is there anything that is not working out well god says you have the authority over it god says you got power i don't know what you have power over i don't know what is making you feel that like you are powerless but today i just want to take you back to genesis Genesis chapter two, chapter one, the beginning. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, Sister Weaver. You have the power from the beginning. Before the enemy can tell you are ugly, God made you in his image. God is beautiful. God is wonderful. If somebody tells you, you are not a woman to be married. Uh -uh. When God made me as a woman, God made me. He put ingredients inside of me. He put data inside of me that says I am more powerful. I am more beautiful. I, may, I deserve to be married. I deserve to have children. I deserve to have a job if people tell you oh women don't build anything women don't build countries women don't build cities you remind them from the beginning god told me to rule over i have dominion i can subdue that means i can go to university and be someone important in my family yes women can build something women are becoming presidents women are becoming um uh, prime ministers so i got something so some women they will wait for a man to tell them they are beautiful. They will wait for men to tell them they are important. I am telling you before you were created, God already prepared the data that needed to be inside of you. And when you were made, God said, let us make man in our image and likeness. He took data like the one that is in the computer. He said, she's going to have these eyes. He's going to have that high, that eyes. That man is going to have this and that. He's going to be the Joseph of the, of the family. He's going to be the Moses of the family. He's going to take their family away from poverty. He's going to take their family away from the spirit that makes them not to be born again. You don't need anybody to tell you what they already have. You don't need the mirror to reflect to you what you've already got before you can believe it. You don't need the mirror to tell you you are short. If you're short, you're short. You don't need the mirror to tell you you told. If you told, you told. That's how God made you. The mirror only reflects what you've already got. The mirror only reflects what you've already got going on inside of you. You don't need the wizard to tell you you're powerful. You are already powerful. The world is deceiving us. The world is blinding our eyes. We don't see what we have. We don't see what we own. We wait for 
the societal norms to dictate things and we begin to believe what the government says we begin to believe what society says we begin to believe that the society says you gotta dress in a certain way to be powerful we begin to believe that the society says you gotta behave in a certain way in order to have children in order to have a husband in order to have a good money we believe what the society says when it was already there from the beginning you got something how do you know you got something go back to the beginning god says you got the power god says he made you in his image that means you have beauty you got brains you got anointing no witches of your, your the family should bewitch you should tell you you are powerless because when god created he already gave you power how do i know what i have i go back to the beginning god told me i will rule over and i will subdue that means the power to control even the witches of my family is in me is within my reach i have got the holy spirit inside of me because when god made me there was jesus there was god and there was the holy spirit it's in plural form let us make men in our image and likeness so when i was born when i was created the anointing already came inside of me the holy spirit was already there filling me with the anointing no witches of my family no witches of the the neighborhood will touch me because i possess the power and the anointing to subdue them the devil and his agents are all under my feet i have the power to rule and subdue Rabba and and how do you know you got something when people ask you what do you have you say i have the anointing you have the anointing because even everything the herbs they'll obey you the trees they'll obey you the wind will obey you you have the power even the storm whatever their names are units whatever they call these storms you got the power i was about to drive and i said just like jesus calmed the storms i know there are storms in some parts of the world in some parts of the city, but I need to be somewhere. And so I am declaring storm silence. Silence until I come back. Silence until I come back. And the storms obeyed. And I went where I needed to be and I came back. See, faith is about calling into existence what does not exist. You can declare things. I just wanted to remind you. You possess the power. Don't wait for the mirror to tell you. You possess the power. Don't wait for the snake to tell you. The snake, the, the snake place is under your feet, not next to you, not on the sofa with you. The snake's place is not next to you, Sister Weaver. Mm -mm. The serpent's place is under your feet. Rabba Baba Setaya. Hey, if God wanted us to be in the same place with snakes, to have the same power, the word would have said in Genesis, I am giving you serpents and I'm giving you trees as well as human beings the power to rule over but i only see one person that god gave the rule over i only see one person that god gave possession i only see one person that god gave the authority it was mankind it was human beings it was a man and a woman i only see that humanity that god gave power to god did not tell the serpents you are powerful god did not tell the trees they've got power over us so we can tell all these stones whatever their names are to be quiet and they will obey because god gave us a dominion from genesis he says the fowls of the air that means the air the heavens can obey when we declare things we can close the heaven we can close the heaven and there'll be no rain <laughs> We can open up the, the, the ground and things will become fruitful. We have the power to be fruitful and multiply inside out. You can tell the ground that you own to be fruitful and it will be fruitful for you. You come into Europe, things are not working out. You can say, God said, the earth and the fullness thereof belongs to God. If I'm a little God, if I am like God, in his image and likeness was I created. That means everything in this country is mine. Every place I set foot, I'm claiming it in possession. Mm. All the riches that are in England, that are in Europe, that are in Africa are mine. I take into possession. In the same way I take possession over good things, I bind and destroy anything bad. 
Anything that is a crawling thing is under my authority. So no snake, no rat has a power over me or my life or my family. So I am binding anything that crawls in the earth. Any snake, any spirit of poverty, any spirit of canker worms, any spirit of locusts that comes to eat the seeds, any spirit of rats that goes into pockets to eat our finances, to eat our seed. I declare that you are powerless. I declare that you are under my feet. So every money I make, I will receive and I will use for my family and I will use for God's work. I will not have any debt. I will have no overdraft because I am stepping on you. You are under my feet. Oh my God. You got to learn to use the word and use it to your advantage. We should not be having debt collectors at our doors. Mm -mm. we have the power we have the power to tell them I am the daughter of the king I have enough money on me I don't owe you anything I pay my rent I pay my bills I got the power you don't need the serpent to rule over your finances you don't need rats to be in control of your finances there are people to whom they don't touch any money their hands have got holes in them. Their bank accounts have got holes in them. They work money. They never see any money, Sister Weaver. Mama Selena, some people don't touch any money. It comes in and it comes out. It comes into the bank and it comes out. It comes into the bank and it comes out. you got the power to tell those rats, those canker worms, those locusts that are eating off your money that the earth and the fullness thereof belongs to your God, you. That God gave you power over the herbs over plants over animals over creeping creatures of the earth that means insects and snakes so nothing has got power over you you have the power let's begin to pray i hope your answer is different this time when somebody tells you what do you have you will say i have dominion when you're asked what do you have you are not saying i have nothing anymore Uh uh rose has something Nova has something. Marcelina has something. Francis has something. Jean has something. Jemima has something. Quand on te pose la question, qu'est-ce que tu as? Tu diras, j'ai l'esprit de la domination. J'ai le pouvoir. Je peux dominer. J'ai le pouvoir. Je peux gouverner. J'ai le pouvoir. Je peux déclarer. Et les choses s'accompliront telles que je déclare. J'ai la puissance de marcher sur les scorpions. C'est-à-dire, j'ai la puissance sur mon finance. Quand je déclare des choses, même dans mes comptes de banque, les choses se feront telles que je déclare. J'ai l'autorité. You gotta learn how to speak. Begin to pray. Say, God, I have power. I have power because you gave me power to subdue. I am subduing any power of disease in my life and in my family. No cancer will have power. No, no, no stroke will have power. No blood pressure will have power. In my family, ah, no disease of the heart will have power. No heart diseases will have power in my family, nor in my body. I have the power to subdue. I have the power to subdue. Come on, Mimi Yobo. You will say, I have the power to subdue. So every organ in my body is under the authority of what I say. And I say, I am healthy. And I say, I am well. Because I have the authority that was given to me from Genesis. I don't need anybody to tell me otherwise. Begin to pray. Rabba Baba Setaya. You got the power to rule over. Some people are worried about enemies. You're worried about your friends that have hurt you in the past. You have the power over them. You just say, I am a daughter of the king. I am a son of the king. What I say goes. And I say quiet. Every scorpion that is a problem in my life, quiet. You are under my feet. Every mountain that, you are, that is a problem in my life, I declare you to break. Move yourself. Move yourself move turn into a plane you will see that problem turn into a plane the problem is you gotta know who you are 
You got to believe in the power that you possess. You got to understand who made you. We forget who made us. We forget what we carry. We forget what we possess. And so the enemy plays with us. The enemy will no longer play with you in the name of Jesus. The enemy will no longer, no longer play mind games in the name of Jesus. When you know who you are, when you know what to possess, problems will fear you. Problems will run away from you. When you know who you are, when you know what you possess, the enemies that wanted to be infiltrated in your life, they will flee from you. You will see friends who wanted to manipulate you. They'll begin to run away from you. You will see some people leaving your life. It's not because you did anything wrong. You got too much power. You know who you are. You got the anointing. You know who you are. You know how to declare things. They cannot manipulate you anymore. They see the anointing. They see the power. They'll run away. You begin to see witches of your family. Those that you know are true witches. They will not like you in your family because you say things that destroy their, their plans at night. You make declarations that when they go and do the encounters, they, it doesn't happen. When they do the incantations, it doesn't happen. They are powerless because you know how to destroy them because you possess the power to subdue. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I have the power. I have dominion. From today, diseases will have no power over me. From today, wizards and witches will have no power over me from today problems are bowing for me from today i will no longer wait for a mirror a mirror a mirror to tell me what i already possess i will not wait for the wizard to tell me what i already possess i don't need a mirror to tell me i am beautiful I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. I don't need a wizard to tell me I have anointing and I have power. I was given the power from Genesis chapter 21. All the other God, any other works are made. You are the awesome God. There is none like you. All the other God, come on. They are the works of men. You are the only God. There is none like you. Jehovah, you are the most high. 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 God, mighty God, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. God, Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. God. He's the Jehovah. He's the Most High God. He's the God in your life. You have the power. Nobody deserves to tell you anything different in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you in Jesus' name. For all those who are connected today, thank you for reminding me, me that she's got power. Thank you for reminding Weaver she's got the power and dominion. Thank you for reminding Marcelina and all those connected, they possess the power and dominion to rule and subdue. They got something better than silver and gold. They got the power to rule over, to subdue in Jesus' name. And what they declare will happen. What they declare will happen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Father, we thank you. If you're blessed by this message tonight, you can sow your seed with the link connected. We have Empowerment Ministry and I'm one of God, Rose Bijou Ramiri. This is our ministry. We meet every last Sunday of the month, like next week, the 27th. I'm inviting you at the Enfield Baptist Church. Connect with us and be blessed. May God increase you and empower you. If you are yet to receive Jesus, if you want to have this power and, 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 and dominion, you need to have Jesus. Accept Jesus. Contact us and we'll lead you into Christ. May God bless all of you. Until next time. Bye-bye. God bless you all. Bye-bye.